Hi guys, Aussie Coin Hunter here. Well, I took my son to school today and uh, he had to go down to Fremantle and I thought I'd do a bit of freestyling. So, um, this, this is what I found. Um, I'm going to show you now. Uh, and I had a good time, just took it easy, relaxed, and um, yeah, let's have a look at what I found. Now one mistake I made was I got all my gear ready and left the camera at home so I didn't get to film but um, let's start we've got the lead all sorts of bits of lead there large base of a, uh, of, a of an older bottle the door handle as you'll see in this next picture cool what a Brass items, hose, fittings, clamps, bits and pieces. Now the reason I keep these is because I, I'm going to cash them in. Uh, padlock, sprinkler head, uh, this shaver, the old style of shaver. So a lot of this, that's a drum bung. I believe that's from a stove. Could be wrong. Stove ring. Brass. This was interesting, I found two of these on a piece of metal and it was like, they're made out of lead. They're like this, some type of special washer they've tried to make. And it did the job because um, the bolt was still through it, although it was rusted, so window related. I don't know what this is, but um, rung up very high, I think it's brass, it's got brass to it. And this big long window latch. This is part of um, the connection for it's part of the connection for um, the overhead power lines. These two parts were down the bottom of a pole. Electrical earthing clamp. Uh, the internal brass uh, of a light fitting, the old style. That's got to be like a, a plumbing washer type thing for a cat. This cool hinge. On the very last site, I have found this uh, old sprinkler. Quite cool, very robust design, um, and the hose fits on on yeah, over the end there. Barwin Reg and. Um, yeah, very cool. St probably still usable too. Now, um, this item here, I'm going to do some photos. It actually has a shield in the middle. I don't know what that's for. Jewelry item. Had a little loop on top, but it snapped off on me. Found this, at first I thought it was some kind of a bottle cap and then I, when I got it home and bent it all out, I, th I think it was a torch, it has to be a torch. I'll do a close up but it says something like Cheong, it's got on off, definitely a torch, it's got a train on it, train brand, made in Hong Kong. Now I uh, got a, a two dollar coin which was on the top. Focus. This was out on the verge. On the on the last site, you'll see photos. I've cleaned this up now, but um, you'll see photos of when I found it. Get some kind of a worker's knife for cutting, scoring cable. I think. Um, so I've cleaned it. It was fully rusted. You know, I couldn't. You couldn't move it, but uh, the blade's been eaten away. Shellham, Shellham, I think it says. Stainless steel, stainless Japan. The little uh, spring there that locks the blade doesn't work. First knife I've found for a while. I'm leaving my favourite one to last, but I found this silver outer 
of a pocket watch. Has the stamps inside. You'll see pictures of that in a minute, but Stamp there and stamp there. The nice pattern, you're going to see that in the pictures. A 1943 half penny, which I'll do a nice picture of. very chopped up and I was really happy to get a 1921 Commonwealth of Australia one half penny so uh, I'll do some photos of that it's got some looks like paint on it it's not actually um, corrosion or anything George V happy to have that But my find of today that I think is really cool is this. Uh, it's a swimsuit belt. It's got I snapped off one of the lugs, and you'll see in the photo in a minute. This has a lug there, and your belt goes through it. So it's kind of like the belt buckle, and it has. Um, I found one of these before, a smaller one, but. See if we can get this to focus. So there's somebody on some rocks about to dive in, and there's someone else in the background diving in. Down in the water, there's actually someone swimming. Got water uh, etched into it or moulded into it. I, I, for me, these stand out as really cool items for me because it, it's from an era where they had wet um, swimsuits with the little belts. It was the fashion, it was the style. And um, to find this is cool. I've, yeah, it's just something about it. It's just fashion that's long gone. Uh, small ones and large ones. This this may have been on a man's belt. Old. I hope you, uh, I'm sorry I left my camera at home, but some of these things are gonna go to the scrap. Some are gonna keep special finds. Um, so take care, good luck out there, and bye for now. Forgot to show you this item. This seems to be, I'm not sure exactly what it is. It does look like just ordinary pipe, but um, somebody's gone to great lengths to uh, modify this to make it into something. I don't know what. Uh, one side is flat. It's like they've bashed it flat. It's actually split a little bit. They've they've really worked it to be something like you know with this. And then you've got to ask yourself when you find these things, what what were they making? Why were they doing it? So. Um, I mean, it looks like just copper pipe, but so much effort has gone into it. Especially with the flat side there, so I don't know. If anyone knows, I'd love to uh, love to know what that could be for. Got some splits either end too, so...